Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the review for this Mi Home Security 360 degrees camera and actually I have been testing this one for the last one week and I'll share my experience guys uh, and I feel uh, this is a product that is fine for some users but not for uh, people who are uh, really want really high good security because guys I also have a proper CCTV system so I'll be doing some references uh, with that one but in some areas I found this one to be lacking but uh, first let's have a, a closer look at this one and definitely it does have a lot of features so guys here we have the me uh, camera itself again I have taken it out because I was actually using and you'll also need a smartphone because you have to install uh, app using which you will see what is happening and as you can see uh, I'll come back to the camera later it says that it has AI motion detect and it's a 360 degrees camera and it's having a 1080p uh, lens and it says it has infrared vision and talk back features and uh, apart from this camera itself I'll show you what else comes in this box we get this small uh, pamphlet which gives you a basic idea about uh, this one and uh, we also get this uh, uh, I didn't use this. This is for wall mounting and bracketing. If you want to do that, you can actually uh, do that and screw it on a wall or something. If you want, you have to use this. And this just goes over here. So you can even reverse hang it uh, like this if you want. I haven't done that. And uh, in this box uh, came this uh, power uh, adapter, which is actually uh, just a normal uh, power adapter. It's uh, having a micro USB port. So, uh, port. So technically, you can even power this with a power bank if you want. Uh, and uh, so, even if the power goes, uh, it will sort of work. So, pretty simple. And coming back to this one, let me give you a closer look. And this is a 360 degree cam. This is the lens itself. And as you can see, you can move it up and down. And this whole head you could say rotates and you can rotate it using the mobile app i'll show you all that so it's a 360 degrees uh, camera that you're having and if you just go over here, here you will see that we have a slot over here this is the micro sd card uh, slot a micro sd card is not pre-installed so if you want to store the recordings and stuff you have to put a micro sd card uh, uh, so yeah and it also actually stores it then uh, to the me cloud uh, so, so you have to actually purchase this separately and uh, use it with this one and you just slide it in like uh, this and moving towards the back you see some vents and this is for the speaker uh, so I'll talk about the functionality of that one later uh, this is your micro USB port and this is the reset button actually setting up is very easy you just install the Mi Home app that will detect it and it will give you actually voice prompts to set it up so the setup was actually pretty easy on uh, this one and it's pretty compact as you can see and uh, let me do one thing let me actually connect it back so that uh, we can have a look at it and how it works because the entire functionality how you use this one is via the smartphone so guys i've switched on the camera and as i've told you you have to use this me home app and it works over wi-fi so let's just uh, open this up and immediately it'll detect the camera if you have multiple uh, multiple will be listed over here this is the one that we have so i'm just going to click on it and uh, it uh, it works over wi-fi as i told you and this is the camera and actually we can rotate it around as you can see we can pan around and see what's happening around so as you can see like this i can move around and we can also move up and down like this so this is a good thing you can easily just manage whatever angle you want for example let's say you just want to monitor this area somebody who's coming out from this area so whenever this uh, somebody comes out of this one it'll uh, give you a notifications and it has a lot of settings and you can even enable audio uh, but the audio, as I've told you, the microphone is not very sensitive on uh, this one. That two-way calling, I tried it a uh, couple of uh, times, but the other person had to yell quite a bit uh, for it to be audible. Uh, so this is the live feed. So anytime you can actually see what's happening and you don't have to be in the same area. Maybe if you have a good internet connection, uh, these days we have good 4G connection. So even from a remote location, you can actually view what is actually happening. So that's the live thing. Uh, but you can also go over here and there are various camera settings that you have. And this also has infrared uh, option and if you go back uh, you can use this home monitoring option I have enabled it so if any movement actually happens uh, it gives me a notification push notification and I would say sort of works uh, but what I had noticed is that as you can see we've got some uh, uh, notifications over here and if I just click on this let's say 10 uh, 15 
in the morning this is the notification let me show you it takes a couple of seconds for it to load and you can even i was just getting inside my office and it detected that movement and it gave me a notification and uh, this is actually well and good all security cameras have actually have to do this but what i've noticed is that the notifications don't come in real time sometimes there's a delay of 10 minutes but sometimes there is a huge delay of uh, uh, maybe even uh, what do you say a uh, uh, couple of hours as you can see these are some of the triggers that happened and for example uh, this uh, was yesterday and um, let me and you can just click on these notifications to play it back so that's actually a nice thing it takes a couple of seconds for it to buffer as you can see it's buffering it and uh, so yeah so it's basically pulling in the data so it takes time because it's going to show you a video feed um, so all the notifications are here and as you can see this was in dark situation completely dark it is but it's using that infrared as you can see then also you can actually see that so uh, this is the notification thing uh, so you can actually ask it to send you notifications when something actually happens for example this is uh, this must be today morning i think so 10 24 or something i must have come inside the office and it detected that let's see uh, i moved the camera remotely as you can see so it detected that motion so you get these notifications like this on this one uh, but the only annoyance that i have is that uh, i just can't trust the notifications on this this is not in real time sometimes yes pretty quick within five minutes or ten minutes but sometimes i have seen delays of even about seven to eight hours so that's the basic functionality of this and uh, we can also uh, initiate a call voice call using this uh, but as i've told you uh, the microphone quality is just not that uh, good uh, so again it's not very clear and I thought of using this one as an intercom uh, but because the microphone pickup was not that great I wouldn't rely on that one that much but I like the fact that in terms of features it does have a lot of features the uh, quality of the video that you're getting because it's a 1080p uh, sensor is actually pretty good it's a color sensor and also that infrared actually works uh, really well on this one so what do I feel about this uh, security camera? As I've said in my intro also, is this one is actually pretty okay for simple home users or let's say even in a shop, you just want to have one camera, you're always there, you just want to know what's happening. You can use this one, you can rotate, for example, kids, what they're doing in your house, you can even pan around left and right. In that aspect, it is really good. But uh, the problem is that in terms of home security, I found that, the notifications that we get on this one were actually delayed quite a bit. Sometimes I got the notifications pretty quickly, just up to five minutes of the event. But sometimes the delay was as high as about seven or eight hours, which is sort of unacceptable because let's say somebody comes in your house and you get the notification after seven or eight hours. What's the use of a security camera? In that aspect, I would say uh, this was lacking quite a bit. And also I wanted to actually use that uh, two way intercom feature. Uh, yes. Technically it is working, but again, in practical usage, the speaker volume and the microphone volume was so low that it was simply not that audible. So I would say for simple home setup, if you just want to monitor, let's say kids in your house and stuff like that, this is okay. Or even in a shop, you just want to monitor something. But for places where you really need high security, then I still feel a proper CCTV system might be a better one because I personally have a CCTV system uh, that we had purchased about one and a half years ago. It was a CP plus four channel unit. Uh, yes, initially it is going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, but once you have the DVR box, it has a hard drive and stuff like that. Uh, adding cameras is actually relatively simple with that system. In fact, the CCTV cameras uh, that we get range just around 1400 rupees or to about 1500 rupees and they're way more reliable you get instant notifications when something happens and that's what is needed with the security system so anyways guys for simple home users and stuff i feel this is very practical and easy to use because again with the proper cctv system again you have a lot of work hard drive than camera so yeah the initial setup is a lot higher uh, but again that provides robust proper security uh, but for simple stuff i feel yes you can have a look at this one anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys